actually ha whoa that's big look at the size of that recently woken up it's 6 26 in the morning welcome to my new home for the time being i haven't actually uploaded my vlog yet where i say that i'm gonna be like moving to brisbane yet so i haven't like heard the response i don't think it would be a negative one i swear sometimes i'm like i'm so scared that i'm gonna like upset people with anything i do not in like a bad way where i think like oh my god like everyone gets so upset but i just i think there's a couple things where i can see why people might look at it in a weird way like why would you leave your house that you like own like why would you do that i just kind of want to paint a picture of like why I've decided to do this. So my house where I live that I love, it's in my hometown and I'm not planning on staying in that house forever. That's definitely not the plan. In my head, I always thought like, yeah, I'll live here for like about five years depending on what happens in my life. And it's been about two and a half, I think. But I'm definitely kind of like feeling that urge to move away from my hometown and live closer to the city. I definitely don't regret getting my house because I'm very grateful to be in the housing market and I'm grateful that I have that house as an investment property. But I've been really feeling like just a bit stuck with where I am. And obviously I'm so privileged that I can just kind of up and like move somewhere temporarily. But I thought about it for a long time. I think around just under two months ago, I um, was thinking about doing this and I actually booked somewhere else. So this has kind of been on my mind for a while to do this. I actually got the inspiration from um, Holly B Fitness. She lives in Manchester and she kind of just goes and like lives in LA for like five weeks at a time. And I was like, why don't I do that? Just live somewhere in Brisbane temporarily see if you like it that's where i got the inspiration from so i'm like i know i'm not totally crazy in wanting to do this it's also just going to give me a taste of what it's like to live out here i might hate it and then think no i definitely don't want to live anywhere near the city i might love it and think yeah this is something that i want to do eventually and i'm gonna have like new running routes like, and there's so many restaurants and i feel like i've just moved to the big city <laughs> this sounds so weird what was i saying about Oh yeah, I was meant to do this like a couple of weeks ago and I booked a different Airbnb, but it was in a different area and thank God we like kind of drove past and I was like, no, it was way too close to like the valley, if you know, like Brisbane, where like all the nightclubs and stuff are. I should have like checked the location better, but it was luckily fully refundable. And I was just like, that's not the location I'm after. Cause there are nice parts of like the valley, but it was just very, very close to the strip or whatever. And I looked again and I found this place, which I think is perfect. And we like moved in yesterday. My boyfriend's obviously gonna be staying with me. But yeah, yesterday we came back from the Gold Coast. I basically packed up everything. I did want to film it, but I was honestly just in like chaos mode and was just like, I think I did a pretty good job. I have forgotten a few things that I need to go and get back, but I think Lisa's gonna drop them off today um, because she works kind of closer off to the city. I think there's just a part of me that's always wanted to live in an apartment. So if it's just for this one month, then that's cool. And of course my two housemates are still living in my house. So Charlie is not there fending for herself. She's being well looked after. Anytime I go away or I'm not home, Charlie is with um, Elise and her partner. And I will absolutely be going back in this time period to like visit them and stuff. Who knows, I might even like stay a night. I don't know. This is just my thoughts. This is the situation. I'm so excited. I really want to like use utilize my time. Sorry, I was just like looking down at people. But yeah, I'm very, very grateful and I'm very aware this is like such a privilege to be able to do this and like most people wouldn't be able to just, you know, move from their house and go live somewhere else for the time being. But I think this will be really, really good for my mental health. Oh my God, just wait for the light to come through. There's like the wardrobe. I literally brought with me to my doona and like my, sh my pillows because I want to make it feel like home. <laughs> and I literally brought my big mirror, like my, uh, not my massive one, cause that thing is like 60 plus kilos. But honestly, the amount of like content that I will take in a mirror, I was like, I, can't, I, I need that. I didn't think this place had a full length mirror. So we, we brought the mirror. It was actually easier than I thought it would be. So I've literally taken this entire wardrobe in here. It's funny, this is like the guest room and then the master bedroom is like down there. But this room has the view and I'm like, 
100% I'm having this room. Well, we are having this room. A bit of a small wardrobe, so my boyfriend's gonna have to put his stuff in the other one. Today, I definitely need to do my easy run. I need to do that. There's also a gym in this like place, but I wanna try out other gyms as well, or like maybe group fitness classes or something, because there's so many more, so many more. Because I'm actually quite close to my friend Beck, so let's hang out a lot and just do all the fun things. And I'm also gonna be staying here over the half marathon. So this is kind of where I'm gonna finish training. Cause the marathon's not next week, it's the week after. I need to go for a run this morning. I think I'll be okay. Cause I can kind of see where people are running and it looks like so nice. It just feels really good. Fingers crossed I don't have another like anxiety attack like I did last time. I need to go to the supermarket because I have nothing. Well, I have milk um, and get everything. 6.39 and the sun is like rising. That's so wild. I also need to scrub off my tan because it's looking terrible. Okay, good news. The run went well and I don't think I was anxious at all that entire time, which was so nice. And there was like heaps of other people running. Definitely didn't take it easy. I think I was like excited at the start. So I went like quite quickly. My average pace was like 6.05 or something. But I feel really good after that. So I'm so sweaty. I need to scrub off my tan and go to the supermarket and get some food. Thirsty. That was good. <sighs> Happy with that. All right, I just got done getting a bunch of groceries. I feel like I didn't even get that much. Love a little grocery haul. I got some like mints. Oh my God. I also found an enormous thing of kimchi. There was like an entire Korean section in the fridge area in Woolies. And I was like, my Woolworths does not have that. And I love kimchi and this is such a big jar of it. Let's give her a taste. I can't actually taste fully at the moment. So, which is so sad, but let's give her a whirl. No, watch me eat this entire thing. Mm. I'm very happy with that purchase. Why don't we have this in my release? I don't think this is gonna look very aesthetic because the things that I have are so random. Like I didn't buy like a whole heap of like produce and stuff. It's kind of a fail. So this place has electric stove top and I have no idea how to use it. There's a lock symbol and then there's this. There was a switch that says hob. I've turned that on. Oh, I should have got paper towels. Damn it. Okay. Oh, okay. Zero, zero, zero. How do I? Hello? How do I? Nope, that's definitely not on. Um... <laughs> I don't know if I'm done. Where's the microwave? Is there no microwave? Hello? Surely, is that, no. Does the vase open? I genuinely, <sighs> I'm so confused. I've literally just messaged the owner asking where is the microwave? One is meant to be in the place. Good morning. Happy Thursday. I'm about to go and get a coffee. I have not, I'm out of focus. I have not got a coffee yet since I have been here, like bought one, but I did my tempo run this morning and I was so close to just giving up. I was not feeling good. I could tell before I even started that I felt a bit anxious and it's weird. You just like can't keep up with the pace, but then I kind of like got over it and it came good a little bit and I finished the run, which is all that matters. Yeah, started off shit, ended semi-okay. I have a lot of work to do today, like just getting content and stories and stuff, but this is the fit. Got some baggy jeans on white sneakers and then just a white button-up shirt very very simple but i oddly really really like it and i popped on a fresh tan last night so i no longer look crusty
To update you on the whole microwave situation, I wasn't crazy. There was no microwave in the kitchen because when I asked the owner, they sent through a photo and there was a microwave like in here. But I was like, no, it's not there. And they initially were like, oh, okay, sorry. I will avoid confrontation at all costs. But the listing for this place said it did come with a microwave. So I just said that like, oh, well, it said. And they were kind of like, sorry. And I'm like, well, why would you say it came with a microwave and there was no microwave? So then they ended up sending a brand new microwave because it came in like a um, like a brand new box that hadn't been opened, which is really, really nice of them. Like there should have been a microwave in the first place if you said there was a microwave. I wouldn't be mad if they if like they said there was no microwave from the beginning, but they did say that there's You get my drift. So really lovely of them to like provide a microwave. So we've got a microwave now I'm gonna make some breakfast because I am starving. That is the washing machine If we could run it, if we could run it back into my period which is good because it means that I won't have my period for the half marathon um but I was feeling really shit around four o'clock and I was like it's coming it's coming I know it is so we are gonna go to the shops so I can get some naprogesic aka period pain medication oh the best thing about this apartment is you can see the sunset from this room so pretty I think this is the first, no, this, I've had pizza twice in the last night, but I literally ran out of everything at the same time. I had to put a bit of Dijon mustard on the base. This is gonna be my dinner. Because I don't wanna eat out like so much while I'm here, just because it's like, I'm here. Obviously I will sometimes. It would be good to not make a habit of, oh my God, I can see a party boat. fish bowl i did have this i think the first night we were here but i actually had whoa that's big look at the size of that i haven't really been able to stop i haven't honestly been able to taste my food fully and i haven't been able to smell many things up until recently like literally yesterday so oh that's spicy i got beef brisket mm. whoa look at that mm. I did my second last long run this morning and it actually went really, really well. I ended up doing a 24 something minute 5k, so sub 25 5k within it just felt really, really good. It's weird because the last time I ran this well was kind of on my period last month, like when I did that really good 18k. So I don't know what the deal is with me and my period, but it was a really good run. But then other than that, we haven't really done much, just been chilling out, just resting, felt a little bit tired. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. That tastes like nothing. Sweet chili just... Man. Sweet chili is the crocodilians of sauce. Think about it. Mm -hmm. Sweet chili is so versatile. And there's so many things that you could put sweet chili on. I think the list you should really consider is like, what kind you put sweet chili on? I'm not even sure sweet chili would taste gross on Tim Tams. 
I don't like the texture of sweet chili sauce though. What? It's really like gooey. Subway's sweet chili sauce is good. Like the texture of that. And this is like the the normal one. Like there's you can upgrade it and make it bigger. Fishbowl though, as opposed to cheeky poke, I find when you hit a certain point in the bowl, it does start to taste disgusting. I don't know why, but it does. We're just gonna meet him, so it's like jumping. Like you can jump him. I might just get a fork. Mm. It's nice, hey? Everything goes white. I can feel the breeze. Euphoric tea. Good morning, happy Monday. It's almost been an entire week here, which is wild, and it kind of makes me a bit sad because I feel like the time is just gonna fly by. But anyway, I just got in a huge package from Gymshark, and I just tried on one of the pieces. So I just got, like, these are my favorite to run in. The, the Vital Seamless, like, cropped one. So I got, like, a dark blue and, like, this one. This is the high-impact sports bra. Like, this is supportive. Monday's always, like, an admin day, an editing day, getting prepped for the week. So I'm going to pop on some tan remover and just sit at my computer and edit. Don't mind the pimple that I just tried to squeeze. My skin is looking so good. So what do I do? I pick it. Good job, Connor. I haven't turned on the top light because it turns on the exhaust fan as well. Um, and that's going to be hella annoying. So far though, I am absolutely loving staying here. It just feels much more me. Just like where I'm supposed to be. So, by the way, this is the Loving Tan um, tan remover. It looks a bit gross. I think I always knew that I would really like being here so I think that'll definitely be something that I'm gonna look at wanting to do however we have to work it out logistically and oh my god I have also never seen so many dogs in this area which I find interesting because where I am currently there are largely just apartments and I think in my head I always thought like people in apartments didn't have pets but oh my god I'm so wrong because there are people out and about all the time just walking their dogs. It makes me miss Charlie a lot, but um, we actually popped back and saw her, not yesterday, but the day before. My boyfriend is actually just out on a walk at the moment, getting some steps in. It says to leave it on for 10 minutes. I leave it on for like, oh, I personally leave it on for like an hour because I find that it just really sets in and then you're not having to scrub in the shower for 75 years because what I do is I take it off I'll do my IPL with my Kenzie oh I do have a code with loving tan this is not sponsored but oh my god what is my code I'll leave it on the screen because I cannot think of it off the top of my head Ooh. Cause love only gets you down. Man, I 